have a ton of new stories being shown. We've already seen uh, the players from Mind Freak both putting on a good show, landing near each other and playing very similarly. Uh, still, uh, obviously, in situations like that, taking shots at each other. But man, things are about to get pretty crazy. We got game two coming up. And that's a the great Battle point. Bus. I'm glad you bring up some of these new players, new stories, because I was actually chatting. You, I know you were chatting with a lot of the fans out here in the crowd. You ask them who their favorite players are. They say the players, the ones we know, we love Dr. Lupo, Tifu, a lot of the streamers back home. But oh, we're, we're in, making dude. some Let's fans of Australia go. here today. Support the local heroes, because there's quite a few of them that have been performing so far. We got Jalen, who played huge. The X2 twin, Jesse, who had a great first game as well. I'm excited to see what these guys can do, of course. We haven't seen any Tilted Towers action. Speaking of Aiden and Nick Merckx yet, I'm excited to see what's going on at Tilted. I know Jordy likes to drop there off. These kind of landings are uh, typically players will stay away from each other as much as possible. Locations like Tilted Towers, there's a, there are a lot of chests that spawn here. There's a lot of opportunities for loot and the players early game. I think the three best line. spots right now are Lazy, Dusty, and Frosty, probably. Imagine dying, uh, you know, Dude, all, what a surprise, they all end with a Y. Dusty's, the divot's not good. Dude. No one has it's definitely good. They have the best so rotation. Uh, I guess you don't really need it with planes. I agree, dude. Yeah. The divot before they added the diner when the planes weren't in the game, and I don't think quads were either, easily the best one. Easily. Every piece of furniture that you can get as many materials as possible. Hey, little RNG. Oh. Oh. Attack, attack, oh. motherfucker. Wait, that guy just that's a bomb drop there. there. Renegades, Hershkels, Renegades. And he has a chug, dude. In competitive Fortnite here in AU. Hirsch goes down early. He loves to drop over here towards Yonder. But it's going to be Fuechus who picks up the elimination on Hirsch. Well played from him. After that, honestly, with this current meta, has to be a deagle. And the, the opportunity to use... Oh! Really oh! Okay. Down, cover with one shot. Bang. Look at him. A lot of damage early. Oh, I think that's mind. a good loadout right now. In early, current meta. Oh! Early game 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 is, yeah, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> maybe, uh, I have high, I have high! She's there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared about landing Westworld and other regions. Yeah, you know it's gonna be contested. Oh, maybe. In fact, the opposite. It depends on regions. Oh my God! No shots. A lot of just bombed him in the fucking head, dude. Like I mentioned earlier, Jordy, you saw there popping a mini. Every chance they have to heal, they will take it. Jordy's been doing a good job placing cover. He has edit rights too. Meanwhile, Mr. Fresh Asian up You win these, Jordy. As well. That's key one for Zion, but this fight here, Jordy getting tagged up significantly by Jason. A crucial one on one. The winner gets all of the loot from nice. Tilted. It is going to be Jason in the Battle of Tilted Towers. Fucking go, Shotgun Jason. Shotgun tag there just enough around the corner before Jordy could get a wall built. Gets the Elim, and Jason's in a very happy spot now. At this point, maybe potentially owns Tilted Towers. Going to have a. Uh, Kind of majority loot to himself. At this point in the game, you really want to rotate early. I know we talk about it so often as casters. Well, the reason is it's because it's significant. Once he's rotating, Hello, Diego. Visual, <laughs> trying to get <laughs> Just that one thing, dude. Keep trying. You're eventually going to get the wall, dude. Right it's behind him. Someone's sneaking up on him, and he didn't hear it. Big one with the shot. This must be those That's great health or those up, great. Uh, stay ahead of his build. He's gonna edit his What's way he doing? down potentially. Even I heard that shit. I'm not even the one playing. Great defensive, defensive, top top down. Down. Yeah, great defensive builds right there from Urban Visuals. He Wait, he look, it says activate ground. windows on there. Caught. Kind of was yeah. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Where? In the bottom right, it says <laughs> activate right. windows. 150 total <laughs> HP to his name. Good job at Urban Sheesh. Visuals. This Frosty Flights oh. fight is now. Why should this go? Yeah, I, I wouldn't drop Frosty after this game. Man. Second one. Even if I survive here. The shotgun just barely missed. Why, the dude? The second Why? Shot and he took and then, to look at look at look what's happening. Urban there, he's trying to just catch. I would. I would be one by one up right now and holding anyone who landed there and blocking all the planes from being so they have to die. Or I run. I mean, and then yeah. if they run away, I'll take a plane and go to zone. Otherwise, I'm dying in zone for them. Look at these guys. They're both dead. They're gone. I like this. They're playing it out. <laughs> what I'll do. You fucking drop on me, I'm going to grief your tournament. These guys have the mentality. Urban Visual does get the elim, but you got to take advantage of that fight early, especially when you're in storm. you got to play aggressive. Urban Visual is going to do exactly that. He picks up the elim, and now he's going to rotate over. Not sure if he has a glider redeploy, but the storm's pretty close. Should be in a pretty good spot. We'll see if they can finish though. It's not about how you start. Oh, of course. Oh, oh my boy! As Mr. Fresh Asian oh, is going to get taken out there, it's going to be by none other than Jalen himself. Well played, well shot. That fucking Jalen guy is a monster, dude. Games in a row there. I guarantee you though, somebody like Mr. Fresh Asian is going to come back third, fourth game and put on a show. 
that's nuts. I believe that's a that's a lot. I know we're used to seeing Tifu and Co. Drop, drop 20 in public matches. A lot different when it comes to competitive play. So yeah, we'll, we're out here in Australia, my friend. I don't know who those people are. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like that. We're talking about the twins here. We're talking about Jordy. We're talking about okay, Hirsch. Okay, let's lay it. Oh, WK Ganger. Nice. He gets eliminated. He's a rift. He has a rift. A strong start from him. Oh, yeah. big fight. oh what a storm Zui fight. Versus Rubsy. Looks like Synergy has the upper hand in health right now. As Zietis, who had the pickaxe elimination yesterday in the heats, picks up one at the bottom left. Still sitting outside the storm here with both players going for a little heal quick. Just excuse me if you could, please. Don't push me just yet. I need to pick up some more. Yeah, yeah, break it down, break it down, break Again, it down. That, back to the point I made earlier, the best players know when to play nice. aggression. Oh, that's going to actually cost Synergy. I believe he had the upper hand in the fight as Rubsy is down to 5 or 10 HP. But because he did not play with confidence or aggression, Rubsy pops the med kit, drops low ground, and picks up the elimination. Huge play from Rubs instead of an easy elimination that could have been picked up. Peace. Now spoiling the player again. I labeled as a dark horse personally. He did win one of the heats yesterday. Just to see what order spoiling can do in this one. Some good shots and keeping some pressure on Kieran. Kieran is under the world of hurt. This is the, the situation we talked about yesterday, or last game, Lupo, where when you get started, starting to focus, everyone just turns their attention towards you. Tough situation. Damn, that guy just got. But it yeah. is going to be spoiling that picks up the limb on Tuck. Kieran and is able to capitalize on that misfortune from Kieran over towards Loot Lake. With the exception of trying to just spin your mouse and build as fast as you can, when you're getting lasered by multiple people simultaneously, there kind of isn't anything you can do. Yeah. That's a tough spot to get out of. Harpy very close to the edge of the circle. Gets a Ooh. taps there. Gets oh, like I got beans in the back. One up there. That's three eliminations. That Yo, this guy's mad out of his mind right now. You see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. If this mad? stays and tilted. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know what the most to do with my hands. <laughs> Your hands and other body parts I here. You're no standing here. You're, you're, you're losing up. your legs here, too. It's going to be go. absolutely nuts. Rotating but just on the north, yeah, the, at north but west hill. It didn't go to the big, big shack mountain, that, which would have been a huge, huge rotation they'd have to traverse. But here's the problem. Something to keep in mind. Because this rotation is going to push a lot of players up a hill, you're going to have people that are on the lower layers of Tilted right now. They've got to move early. Oh, my God. X2 Twins is in hell move. right now, but it's also the best spot in the zone. Bro, this guy, bro, this same guy's in the best spot easily. High ground on the side of the zone. Yeah, no, he's got, but like, I'm in like zone positioning at least. Like, X2 Twins is in like the wrong side of zone, but he's surrounded by people, which sucks. Actually, no, he got away from him. He got, okay, he's in a good spot already. Good shit. Because if you do, we're going to land on somebody like Jesse's branch that he's building there. You see on the left side of your screen, he's going to try and sneak his way in ahead of the move. Ziadis gets tapped a little bit there. Rubsy, our, one of our Elim leads earlier, actually the only one with four eliminations, goes down to the storm, claims another life there. Oh yeah, my god, he's got one shot, yeah, shot yeah. off there. Here comes the madness him. on the rotation. Fucking one in, you dude, see these players just tunneling their way alive. Phil's going to get taken out by the storm here. Ziadis in a bad spot. Oh, he's going to get shut down god. by Dolph. Surprisingly, Barn still alive down at the bottom. Spoiler, I say K picks up an Elim Colt. Down to the storm there. The you fuck, see, shoot your the gun. is going to be the place to oh, watch people on rotations Whoa, like this because things get so crazy. So many players moving in the same area. Quick shotgun shot. Spoiling trying to pick up an Elon, but the wall stopped it. Jesse way ahead of the game down there, trying to stay up on his opponents. That branch is pretty weak, not a whole lot behind it, but he's way ahead of so the game. Smart. He's so smart. The, the fastest close. to rotate. Both times we saw the rotation over to Big Red, Big Red and back over to his original one by one. He's the first to rotate. So smart, so methodical is Jesse. And he has full health, full eight, and full shield right now as well. And look how many mats he still has. He, 700. He, you have to remember, though, he was sitting on 2,500 roughly yep. before this rotation. When he moved out of that little building he had on the north or the, the north side of Tilted. He was sitting pretty. He's already burned through all of the wood and all the brick. That's how much building goes into rotations in competitive Fortnite. People are trying to layer themselves off defensively as fast as possible. Down to our final 10 players here in game number two. You see Jesse, you gotta say he's a favorite with the most HP total. Big Hark is gonna get shut down here and he's gonna get taken out down to nine. The rotation's coming through. Keith's gonna pick up one as well. Jesse, again, the uh, player to rotate. X2 so Twins is taking a tick so he can heal off. <laughs> that means Jesse <laughs> wants to play for the heal off he is, huh? To go for yeah, he's heal going for the heal off. Is that kind of early, it, though? So it's way early. He did it way too early last time, too, but I don't think he cares. He's starting to run out of mats here, and this branch is going to shake down the structure behind him. He wins these, dude. He's already getting alive. a free win. He hasn't gotten pressured at all. He hasn't gotten shot at by one AR bullet. 
the final one. The circle's gonna close as soon as it gets down to a pinpoint there. We're gonna turn, it's gonna turn into a heel off. Seven players left or somebody up above. Keith may be the one to go for a push. Oh no, he he's gonna grief. The ability to heal. Okay, give up. At this point, unless he's got a campfire hidden away somewhere that I can't see. Dole, I, oh, Taylor, oh, 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 okay. That was that guy's 15 seconds, seconds left, left until this circle closes. You might grief on me, might grief. This guy, this Keith guy is more aggressive. Yeah, I like it. Nope, Jesse's healing his own. Jesse's already healing. We'll see if he can do it. He's got three just, left. He's got to pick up two left diving. before his HP kicks out. He won. 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 Let's go. He won again. X2 twins the fuck up, baby. This man has won two games with zero kills. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, Australia so far, he's looking to cool 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 cool